first and foremost, it's, it's, there's no PR play here. If you've covered us, you know there's no PR when it comes to people, right? Um, but we're talking about a state with 5.7 million people with only two Division I football playing schools. And Minnesota A has the size and population to be able to support 12 guys in the class. To put it in perspective, uh, in our first class, which now would be sophomore, so that's the class that just finished their sophomore year, we had 28 players, that was the COVID year. And of those 28, 15 were from Minnesota. That was the largest class of in-state Minnesota kids that any school, any Division I school, or any, any school, whether it's in-state or out-of-state, has ever taken. So it is uh, maybe a touch higher than, I think, 42% of the class. But it's simply that there's some really good football that goes on here, and they understand who the University of St. Thomas is. We have assets, for lack of a better term, that you can see, like you're standing in one of those in this building. But we also have assets that you can't see, and I think the latter is more important than the former, in them knowing who we are as a university. But this program has always stood on the shoulders of Minnesota high school football players. And even though our reach and our footprint gets a little bit bigger, um, that's still how we decide to build it. Someday if there's another guy sitting up here in another sweater vest, then he can decide what he wants to do. But for right now, that serves this program and this university very well, and we are grateful that there's that many that are uh, into what we're doing. Absolutely.